Hey planner babes, it's Mandy from Create With Mandy and today I am planning in my brand new 2022 planner doing my goals page for 2022. So this year, if you haven't checked it out already, um, I'm going with a bando planner. I have a whole video with my 2022 planner lineup and setup, so definitely go check that out. I will try to link it below. And um, I'm excited to get started in this very pretty planner. Love it so much. So let's take a look at last year's goals page. Actually, I should probably just do a quick cover up of some stuff. Um, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So my goals page for last year, uh, obviously use my happy planner. So I used some filler paper. I was able to punch it in. I can take the pages out on the front. I did my one little word. And on the back, I did goals. And so I'm going to do that same basic like setup this year, have one piece of paper for both and um, have that in my new planner. So here is the good look at the goals sheet from last year. I really like this setup. I use these stickers from this goals um, sticker book from the Happy Planner. This came in a Be Happy box, so it wasn't available for purchase separately, and that was a long time ago. So unfortunately, you can't find it um, unless you're like, finding it from a reseller, I don't know. Um, but they had these great boxes that had all these goals, family goals, personal goals, spiritual, career, financial, and fitness. And so um, it was perfect for the goals page. I just put them all down. I had a monthly and a weekly goal too. Um, but that is kind of how that turned out. I really liked it. Although some of them, it was kind of harder to keep track of like a fitness goal like I just kind of give myself like a weekly or monthly goal and it was kind of hard to track and the only ones that were really like were great was career and financial because those were like like the like a goal that you can actually check off whereas you know eating me only once a week or being vegan once a week it's hard to check that off right unless you're doing it each week um, and stuff like that so I really want to try to think more about those like measurable goals that you can check off. Um, so that is what I'm thinking about this time. But I kind of want to do the same setup. So and then in another video, I'm going to do my one little word for next year as well. But let's go ahead and get started. Here's my planner. Let's go ahead and start to open it up. Love all the designs in here. Super, super cute and fun. I set this up on my um, planner lineup and setup video. And so now I want to find a page before January, which let's find that tab. Here is January. I want to find a page before January that I can do this um, goals in one little word on. So here's some stickers in the front. This fun page. Um, you've got a yearly some other stuff that you can use maybe to track birthdays. Let's go. Let's see what else we have. Some holidays. And then we have the monthly divider. So I'm thinking the best place to do this would be over here. And I've already thought about it. Um, and so you're also thinking, how are you going to get a page in there? Because now, now I'm using this coil bound planner. So you can't just take pages in and out like with a happy planner. Um, but what I'm going to do is tape in a page and I'll show you exactly how I've thought about it. So I've got this note sheet here. It's actually a big piece of filler paper from the Happy Planner. Um, I'm going to cut it down to size and I've got my paper trimmer here and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to take a quick measurement. I kind of want it to be like, like in, not offset, not, and then I don't think inset is the word, but I want to like put it in in um, a little bit from the, the size of this page behind it. Wow, I'm terrible at explaining this. Okay, and then I wanna leave room to tape it in. So if I like this spacing here, I'm gonna go ahead and use put the cut like right here. So I'm gonna cut there, and then I need to figure out how much from the top I want. Let's go ahead and do something like there. So I've made my two marks. Oh, you couldn't see that one. Made a mark up there. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and cut, and I'm going to show you exactly how this is going to work. Let me take this sticky note off. I'll talk about that in a second. So let's see. Let's do uh, this one first. Find my line there. 
I guess I should pull it forward. There we go. And then I'm gonna cut here too. I really should put this on that side. Haven't used this trimmer in a long time. I usually use a big like swing arm trimmer. But this one is great um, for filming. It's small and it's good for just single sheets of paper and crafting. Um, really affordable too. I'll see if I can find um, the link to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, so it's perfectly like inlaid here, like there's a border on the edges, and I've got this washi tape, which I just chose this simple black and white grid. I will link this as well. It came in a great set from Amazon with like 12, 12 of them for like $12, it was a great deal. Okay, um, so I'm gonna tape along the edge here, and that way I can flip, and then I'm gonna take the back edge too, but I'm going to wait until I fully like decorated my sheets. So I will probably do that in my next video when I do my one little word. So definitely look out for that one. Um, if it has not already been out, I don't know how I'm gonna schedule these videos on my YouTube. But anyway, um, I'll have that video too. So definitely go look for that one after you've been, uh, after you're done watching this. Okay, I will tape it in in the next one. So that is what I'm gonna do. I think it's great. It'll be a little flip and um, I'll have my goals in one little word and it's gonna be great. So that is kind of how I'm tackling that issue of having the coil. All right, so now let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do it on the back. So if I want this to be the front, then this will be the back flip like that. And I'm gonna do it like last year, so I'm gonna do my goals on the back. Got this cute little stuff in the corner too. I don't know if I'll cover that up. So the sticky note that I wrote down are the categories that I wanna do. So last year we had, you know, fitness and spiritual and personal and family. And it was kind of hard, like spiritual and personal and fitness. Like those are ones that I couldn't really, I don't know. I just used the stickers cause it already had the heading, right? So this time I'm going to make my own headings and make goals for this stuff. So I've got some sticker books here. Um, these two came together in that be happy box. I'm pretty sure, but biz babe, I think you can still get, so I'll try to link as always. And I'm also going to use this sticker sheet from my shop called Goals. Got some great black and white qu quotes, very simple. So let's go ahead and get started. So here we go. I'm going to start with this big sticker here for a big goal. So this is going to be my, my huge, big, one big goal for the year, which is I want to buy my first house or condo or whatever. I want to buy my first place. So that is my big goal for the year. I don't know how I even want to set this up. Do I want to put goals at the top? I think I'm going to know. I don't need to label this as goals. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one here. So that is my one big exciting goal. I really hope that comes to fruition, even with the crazy um, housing market right now. But that is my big goal. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is after this video, I'm going to go ahead and write everything in because I feel like that's going to take me a minute to think about things and really set these goals. And I want to be intentional about it. I don't just want to throw it down on the page because I'm filming um, for you guys. But I think the whole setup of it is like the fun part or what's going to be um, special here or whatever. Okay, so we've got that one big goal, which is going to be that I want to purchase my first house place. Okay, now I um, have got these other categories. I've got five here. And so I really liked last year's that they were in kind of like a long box with these check marks. So that one is gonna be a great box. So like these, how they have the little dots um, that you can kind of set a few different goals within a certain category. So let's use this one. I think I'll just hold on to it for a second. Could also just use a checklist, that would be great. Um, and before I forget, I really wanna go in this book. Um, there are some great colors in here. I'm trying to remind myself of what I saw that I liked. Um, these are great too. It says progress check-in, one week, two weeks, three weeks, or after you know that amount of time, you can check in with your goal. But I don't know if I'm gonna use those. Um, or if I do, I'll probably cover up that whole one week, two week thing. So some great routine stickers, big plans. I like that. Um, 
got some quotes. I don't think I'm gonna have room really. I'd like to use the quotes from my sticker sheet here. Okay, there's some boxes in here I like, so I think we'll maybe use some of these colors um, in addition to Biz Babe. I thought there was more I liked, but that's okay. All right, so let's just go ahead and start with these boxes. So here's the first one. I don't know what my category is gonna be. What if I did it like that? Put the category at the top and then I could check it off on the side there. Not a huge fan of that though. Okay, let's go ahead and put it down. And so I also wanna think about a little bit of decoration, I guess. So for my one little word page, I kind of thought about it. I think I wanna use the florals from here. So I think it would be nice to sprinkle some in throughout if they're layered underneath the um, these boxes and stuff. Let's grab this pink one, little like washi kind of a strip. Maybe we'll put that at the bottom. Maybe we'll use another one at the top too. Um, it might be fun to layer it underneath here. You won't really see it, so maybe we'll just cut it off at the edge. So we'll do that, and then let's grab an X-Acto knife and cut that right at the edge there. Perfect. Okay. Now, let's see what else we want to do. So we've got one of the boxes, we need four more. I don't know if each one I really need like a long list. Um, I feel like personal and relationship, relationships, um, maybe I'll use a smaller box. I don't know if I'm gonna have those like really tangible goals for that stuff, but I think I still wanna write something down even if, you know, just to look back at. And I know that almost goes against what I was saying, but it's kind of hard for those, like personal and relationship. Well, especially relationships. Like what is, what is a concrete thing in that? So, okay, um, I like these colors. I don't know what I should do though. Let's see. Here's a cute pink one. And I feel like I could write the little category like personal or relationships and then maybe do a box there and you know what I almost want to do one more box with it like have two things do a little layering there let's straighten this out there you go okay and so I've got these other categories I think let's use one of these checklists I think that'll be good Let's use this light pink one instead. And we'll do another little header. Let's maybe do this color. Using all of these like warm tones, which I love. So that's gonna be our next one. So got one, two, three. We'll do one more here. We'll do the same thing. Let's find a little header that matches that color. That will be from here. I know that there's more boxes in here. There's some more checklists. Here's some. We could do something like that. Could maybe even cut it down. And so let's go ahead and do that. I won't worry about cutting it down, but I just saw another box that I like. Here we go, top three. I think that's a good, um, that's a good uh, sticker. Let's, let's maybe put that here. That's a good goal sticker. You have your top three goals for a specific category. I kind of want to write the category. And let's make a box for that. Let's find a matching nice color that goes with our theme here. Let's see, we've only got some blue. We've got these larger ones. Um, I think we'll go, oh, we can use this little star. 
little star box. Okay, there we go. And so now I've got my categories. One, two, three, four, five. And so with this little bit of extra room, definitely wanna use some of these. Um, and so let's see. I really like this one. I am creating the life of my dreams. I think that's really nice. Fits perfect there. Um, I also like this, you'll never be ready, just start. And I think that would be great up here. It's kind of smaller. And this, we have room for a larger one, but I feel like I'm really trying to choose some of these quotes that really, you know, make sense for this goals page. I mean, they all make sense, but because they're goals, but let's see going to make you so proud note to self I really like that and I don't know if I need this whole evaluate progress so let's do that there I'm gonna cover that up um, yeah also the work for it I think we could like line that up across the bottom here totally not necessary but doable okay and I think that's great and that'll leave me a little bit of room here if I have some extra things or want to put another box or if I've forgotten like a whole other category right now like whatever so I think that is going to be my goals page I really like how it turned out um, and so stay tuned and definitely go check out my other video my one little word um, in that video I'm going to go ahead and tape in um, the page and show you exactly how that's going to work and how it's going to look very nicely when it flips in my planner for 2022. So that is it, you guys. I hope if you like this one, you'll give me the thumbs up and subscribe so you can see my future videos as well. Definitely go check out the one little word and the planner lineup and setup if you haven't. Appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.